Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our latest and greatest release, OC Portal 5. We've released 15 before and after shots, but we wanted to show you it in action. For those who don't know about OC Portal, we're a CMS that focuses on integration, which is something other software does really badly at. We think all the web technology out there today pretty much sucks. It's either easy to use and does very little, or embarrassingly ugly and complex. People used to make computers from kits until the computer industry matured, but people are still doing that with websites. Actually, it's worse. You don't really get a kit. You get a load of components made by 50 different people to 50 different specifications and 50 different visions. It has to change, and this is what we're passionate about. OC Portal is free. There's no costs here. We make money from commercial support and agency services, not from selling OC Portal. We don't compromise in the quality and ambition of our software, and we don't compromise on our views on open source. I could spend all day talking about our features, but we don't have it. But there are a lot, probably more than any other CMS out there. OC Portal does just about everything we can make it do without it becoming bloatware. There's nothing else like it, and I'd like you to check us out on CMS Matrix if you don't believe that. Everyone who already knows OC Portal, Thank you for listening up to this point. Now the real demonstration starts. Let me bring up the admin zone. We don't want to just create some system for making a website or some social media solution. We want to do all that, but also to actually help you in every way we can. This is what the redesigned admin zone front page is all about. It's got a fully customizable list of tasks. Some of these tasks are automatically discerned based on what you have and haven't been regularly doing. But you can also put in your custom tasks on there too. You can see we've also put on a lot of links down here for you. We've tried to lay out a lot of resources for you that will help you and provide a complete entry point to web design. Web design is increasingly vast and we wanted to help you to know what you don't yet know. From my own experience learning new things, I know it's sometimes really hard to get the big picture so you know where to start and finish training yourself. I don't think anything else does this. We try and be comprehensive. As you can see, you can edit the links here. This is really helpful if you have a staff team and want to lay out a good workbench for them. So, here on the left is something really new and special. You can use it to keep tabs on your competitors pretty easily. We know all about competitors at OC products as our own industry is particularly saturated. But nowadays, most are. And in a competitive climate, it's typically the case that you're too squeezed for time to do the obvious thing, track competitors. We've made it easy. Just put the URLs to a few competitors in here, alongside your own, and we'll show you the Google page rank and traffic rankings right on your dashboard. Now, let's talk about the improved experience through our administration system. People familiar with OC Portal know that the admin zone is split into a number of sections. It's a big system, so we've always given it a strong organisational structure. We've often been told it's too sprawling, which is why we implemented this nifty search a few versions ago. It lets you find anything related to the word you put in. For instance, if I wanted to know about galleries, it would show me all the options, permissions, templates and so on. Now we've also added beautiful drop-down menus that save you valuable clicks and allow you to get a much better bird's eye view. Aren't they beautiful? We've really put in the time here. We wanted you to really enjoy using OC Portal as a thing of beauty. You may have seen how they faded in. We've got shadows on there, we've got beautiful icons, we've got beautiful hover actions. And it's accessible. Just see what happens if I hold down tab. Accessibility is very important to us. It's also important legally in most countries, even though just about every CMS out there falls flat in this regard. We've had extremely positive feedback from blind users because we've met every standard there is to meet. Let me go add some news. Really smooth and pretty transitioning is something we've added throughout the admin zone. You don't need to worry about whether you actually click that link anymore and peer up or down for a little browser loading signal. We wanted to make it as fun as possible to use OC Portal. Filling things in is boring, so we've added a lot of eye candy. But we really believe in marrying form and function, so all the eye candy gives helpful signals to things whilst also being calming. 
See, as I fill in fields, it responds to me. I think that's kind of satisfying. It feels like I'm making some progress here. See the beautiful fade in here. This is something we've added everywhere, and I mean everywhere. It all feels so smooth and responsive, and again, it's practical. If things jerk around, it's unnerving, and you can actually miss what happens. Smooth transitions are actually very intuitive. I'm intentionally going to blank out a field again. I want to submit the form wrongly. Oops, but see how it just glides up to where the error was and shows a calming but clear message as to my mistake. By the way, check out these buttons. We put in these beautiful CSS powered buttons throughout OC Portal to override the standard browser buttons. They're not images, it's all done by CSS free and works in all modern browsers. They work even on Internet Explorer, although the corners aren't rounded and the hover action isn't quite as nice. We're on the cutting edge here, but that will all work when IE9 is out. Because it's all CSS, our non-English speaking friends don't need to redo it all, and our FEMA friends don't need to swap a hundred images out. The buttons also look amazing with our theme wizard. For those not familiar with the theme wizard, it's our quick start theme creation tool. You can create a new theme around a colour of your choice with just a few clicks. It's a huge leg up. And these themes are incredible. Particularly incredible though, now that even the buttons match your colour. Here's something for the ladies, and don't tell anyone, but I think it's to die for. But seriously, even if for some reason you're not keen on pink, you can have any colour and it's super easy to do. The last thing I want to show you is how we've made theming a little bit easier. The theme wizard is great, but we're not going to pretend that picking a colour is all you'll want to do. For those who want to get their hands dirty in web technologies and make a custom theme of their own, we have great tools available. We've solved two big difficulties that relate to the sheer size of OC Portal. The first is that it can be hard to see what you're editing. There are over 1,000 templates and you can't possibly work efficiently editing lots if you're constantly switching around and trying to work out what is what. The other problem is how do you know your theme actually works right? There are so many screens in OC Portal and clicking around trying to see everything is haphazard at best. We've solved both these problems with screen previews. Every single template is now available for previewing by the screen it is designed for. You don't need to add any test data or navigate around for this. It's all one click away in the template editor. It will open up with the famous lorem ipsum incantation. You can also view the complete list of screens and work through them one by one to make sure all is good. This is a huge thing for theming. Everything that makes OC Volta seem smaller to the administrator is a great leap forward for usability. And this really does. It gives you instant feedback and an overview that you just did not have before. So, this was a really brief overview of what is new in OC Portal 5. There are hundreds of changes, but for us this release is all about the user experience, so this is what I've focused on today. I wish I could show you more. Usability is definitely the primary concern to people, so it's really important that we've invested in this. We've had power features like Occle for many years, that's old news. But I am so fired up about what we have new in this release. If there's one key thing about the world today, it is the need to be efficient in meeting your goals. That's particularly prevalent in government projects. I'm going to put up a few slides that show some statistics. If you're interested in this, please pause as the slides come through because I'm not going to talk about them in detail. At OC Products, we're constantly stunned to see millions of pounds or dollars or euros being thrown at projects and spent on expensive substandard software, very complex and expensive custom programming and component integration, and huge wastage on inflated consultant salaries to manage all that. We've invested hugely in making a better option, and particularly in today's economy, people are seeing the value or the necessity of our kind of approach. So, thank you all for listening. Oh, one more thing. One funny thing struck us about running a website. For all the activity going on around the world, constant hits, all the features and ways to interact, 
Somehow, you just feel slightly disconnected and unable to see exactly how the sight is being used at a particular point in time. The only way to see how people are using your site is to go, after the fact, trawling through logs or reports or looking for evidence of people being there. We think that kind of sucks. To solve this, we've created a new little tool which we call Real Time Rain. It allows you to watch people using your site as things actually happen. It's dead easy to bring up. I just go down to the footer and click the new bubbly icon down there. Up it pops. It will look a bit grey and miserable at first. That's because this is just a test site and I'm the only one using it. Unfortunately for me, this is the very definition of a difficult feature to demonstrate. However, one really cool feature is you can actually rewind. You can go back to any point since the site was set up and view what was happening from there. And, as you can see, you can speed things up. See those bubbles coming down? That was me using the site earlier. We have about a dozen different kinds of bubble defined, so it's not just page hits you can see. Now, I want to show you what happens if a hacker comes and tries to hack the site. Let me just bring up a malicious looking URL I prepared earlier. Check that out. I love this feature. I could leave it running on a spare screen all day long. Heck, people could display this in company lobbies, it's that cool. But what's really cool is it is actually incredibly useful to see how and when people use the site and what is going on now. You can pick up on trends here you'd find very hard to pick up on from traditional analytics. And you can see data that analytics software would never have access to or understand. It's pictorial and insightful. You don't have to decode things or try and match things up by hand. To really demonstrate this feature on a demo site, I need to turn on test mode, which will show a lot of random activity. So, let me just pull this up. Isn't that great? Well, that's it. Thank you all for listening, and hope you enjoy OC Portal. We also hope you'll contribute a little bit back to our mission. We're working our backsides off to change the world of web development, but we're not a mega corp. Every little bit of help we can get, even if it's just reporting bugs, is huge for us. We're also working hard to build a great community support structure so that you have the best possible environment to work in. We've already done stuff like releasing a free 100 page development book and endless pages of API documentation but we hope in the future to bring in more partner companies, a wider network of core developers, and put on more real-world events. It all depends on participation though, so again, please do get involved and help organise things. So, that's really it for now. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you enjoy using OC Portal 5.